If I had another life, what would I do? Nenad Bach. Nenad Bach. This man is a superstar in his world. If I had another chance, what would I do? What he does have is a passion. Power of music. As long as you live, as long as you can move your fingers, I think you defend your passion. My name is Nenad Bach. Let's rock and roll. I was born in Zagreb, Croatia, in 1954. I fell in love with music when I heard Beatles, Genesis, James Taylor. Guitar is a friend. When you have nobody around, you can sit and play. I really don't know what would my life be without music. In the town where I lived, Nobody made an album before in there. And I said, I'm going to make the first one. I made it when I was 23. The, the album came number one in the former Yugoslavia. And they played it on, on Croatian radio every day. So that was a quick start. Then uh, very soon I decided to come to America. In less than two years, I got a record deal which was unheard of. Somebody who barely speaks English and coming from, uh, you know, Eastern Europe, that's, that's, uh, that was uh, amazing. I came across a lot of people. Bono and Princess Di. In 1995, I sang with, uh, at the Pavarotti and Friends concert. You have half a million people in front of you. It's scary and thrilling at the same time. Audience re reacted really well. So it was a beautiful moment. In, in 2010, well, I knew that something was wrong, but I didn't know what. I had to go to the doctor. I started to see the changes in my body, which was a shaking of the right hand, some tremor, a slight tremor. I saw him, I interviewed him, examined him. We did a scan, it's called a that scan, and that was confirmatory. This is indeed Parkinson's disease. The hallmarks of Parkinson's disease are the loss of dopamine neurons, and it leads to a slowness of movement and a reduction in dexterity. Playing guitar, playing keyboard are activities that require good fine motor control, and that is right at the heart of what Parkinson's impacts. For someone like him, he could continue to do those activities for a long time, but ultimately the disease wins and he would not be able to do them at a high enough level that he could carry on with the kind of performances and the kind of you know production of music that he was used to. Five years later, I couldn't perform live. On, on, a, on a guitar. My fingers will be stuck here, between these this strings. I just could not perform. That was uh, devastating, to say the least. It is a progressive disease, and it occurs at a pretty constant rate until it accumulates a pretty significant disease burden, as we say. Muscles are getting weak. You focus on, 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 on the salad, on the fork. You have to think about it. It's not automatic anymore. There is no cure for Parkinson's. It's a serious diagnosis. But you can do something about it. 
We have drugs that help reduce some of the complications that can happen with Parkinson's. And in terms of hope for something that we have now that can actually slow the underlying disease, exercise is the best thing we see. A friend of mine invited me to play table tennis. I had no expectations. I just, just came to play for fun, just to be active a little bit. For the patients with Parkinson's, things that involve balance seem to be very helpful. Things that involve rhythm. Ping pong meets those criteria. All these things that Parkinson's is impairing are things that are directly addressed by ping pong. I noticed the next day that I, I, I felt much better. So next week I played again and uh, I felt better again. So I increased to two to three times a week. He seemed to have less tremor. He had greater dexterity. He was walking better. what we consider the cardinal features of Parkinson's, all seemed better at that point. When I play table tennis, everything is gone. There is no past or future. There is just now. I didn't conquer the Parkinson. But I conquered the fear of Parkinson. Somehow I knew that there is probably some way. I never believed that I would lose it forever. In the period of a year, I could play my guitar again. If I had another life, I would never walk straight. All the things I love to do, other people love to hate. Put my shoes on my ears, put my head on my feet, park the car in the kitchen, take a bath in the street. I love ping pong, I love bums. I love the Three Stooges and those crazy drums. I like lovers who don't vote the same. Lying on my bed in the stars and the rain. Oh, yeah. At the moment that, that I could play guitar again publicly, it was triumphant. If he didn't find something like ping pong, he wouldn't have been able to do it. I love ping pong. It took really finding something that he was passionate about. I'm not surprised he found that thing, but. I was surprised it was ping pong. There are no words for it. I love ping pong. One passion feeds another passion. Music gave me the power to write a song about sports that gave me back my music. So it's uh, quite a story, actually. It's quite a story. There you go.